hello everyone it's me asmrf welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll edit this type of photo and i'll make the preset for you guys and i'll share with you that preset for your photography editing so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications this type of stock image i got from the pixels.com for your practice purpose i'll provide you that download link in my video description so let's start the tutorial press ctrl or command j you'll get another copy of this layer so here in an adjustment layer you are getting here the color lookup from here lots of color lookup over here those are by default in your photoshop and i'll use the film stock and you are getting like that and i'll change the opacity like this so you're getting like this and after that again adjustment layer go to the levels options from here i'll take the levels like this that's good and then again from here i'll go to the exposure options from here i'll add some grammar correction that means like this and offsets if you need to change the offsets you can do that 0 1 6 6 and nice and select all the stops that means all layers making it group and right press make it convert to smart object after making this smart object you can change or you can do any kind of work with that and after that go to the filter and camera filter so if you are the user of the cs version you are not getting the camera filter by default in your photoshop you have to install it manually please check out my video description for the download link of the camera filter and after that i'll reduce the highlights and add some contrast like that and add some clarity and texture actually texture i will add over here and vibrance like that in this situation a little bit that's fine and now i'll go to the hsl panel for the hue saturation luminance hue which color you want to give in this your photo saturation for the percentage of color luminance for intensity of the color from here i'll work with two or three colors here is a red pink and other stuff so here the saturation rate i will increase this one magenta purple and green saturation i'll make it down like that that's good and the luminance i'll make the down the green luminance and the yellow as well and the luminance of the orange increase a little bit and the red i'll make it down okay saturation of the red i'll increase and like that okay now i'll go to the split toning for the shadow color and highlight color so i'm giving a little bit saturation over here hue i'll change the hue which color is perfect for this photo i have to find it out i'll provide this color in highlight portion and shadow portion which color will be so you have to find out the color for this okay it could be like that okay fine and again i will go to the saturation panel and decrease the green saturation luminance i'll make like that and hue i'll make the hue of the green color like this now i'll go to the calibration which is the three primary colors red green and blue and work with that so here i'll work over here i'll make this color like that and green color i'll make the green color like this okay fine you can adjust the balance like this okay the lotus color would be like that okay and the blue that's fine and now again i will go to the split toning now i will adjust the tone from here it's giving you extra exposure the green luminance i will increase the green luminance and hue if you change the hue like this it will be like that okay fine and then the tone curve actually i'll go to the blue tone curve it's like that okay cinematic tone and the green tone curve like this not too much a little bit okay fine and then let's see the before image was like that and after one you're getting like this so after that i'll save these settings for you guys and i'll provide you that settings in my video description so saving that settings and giving the name lotus name lotus and save it out 
After saving that, hit the OK button. Let's see the before and after. And after that, I'll go to the filter again and Nick Collection Color Effects Pro 4. This one is another plugins for the filter adding. So if you want to get the download link of the Nick Collection, please check out my video description. After adding over here, go to the cross processing this portion and you'll find out lots of method over here which one you want to provide or give in your photo you can pick up from here so you have to find out your tone so i think this one is good and hit ok it's taking time to load up and providing you the final output and after that adjustment layer and from here levels from levels options i'll add the levels like that and adjust like this okay fine let's see the before and after huge change you are getting over here if you need to adjust the fill color of these you can adjust all the panels and this camera and the color effects pro whatever you want so after that if we use that preset in another type of photo let's what happened to that go to the file and open up with the previous um, uh, preset so this one another image and press ctrl or command j another copy of this layer go to the filter camera filter so if you want to get the camera filter in your photoshop please check on my video description for the download link here is the load settings options i made that preset earlier that means the lotus xmp here if you need to change the all the stops you can do change over there in this portion the green you need to green add some green and the luminance of red you have to adjust that things okay and the hue of the green you can make the green like that okay fine let's see previous and before and after actually so from here you can adjust the shadow and highlight as well if you need or you do like to use that thing you can use that so hit the ok button it's taking time to load it up and providing you the final output let's see the before image and after image and after that go to the filter again nick collection and color effects pro for the another filter of this so it's taking time to load up and lots of method over here which one is perfect for these photographs you have to find it out and lots of method actually you have that assumption to choose or pick up from here so i'm using this okay fine and hit okay it's taking time to load for the final output you're getting huge change of this so i think it will help you out to edit your photography easily so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section please check out my video description for the stocks and other stuffs to download until the next video i am asmrf signing out today stay safe stay at home bye bye